This is John from Plymouth. Hello, John. Hey, guys. How you doing? What's going on? Uh, well, <laughs> you know, you, you did the Colin Coward uh, quote. Yeah. And uh, he must not have watched Thursday Night Football <laughs> because uh, Vrabel, Ryan Tannehill, Derrick Henry, and that monster defense is the Patriot team strategy every year with Belichick. Yeah. Run first strategic passing with a game-managing quarterback and a defense that is nails. And uh, that beat the high-flying, you know, quarterback, big price tag, unbelievable receivers, all of that stuff. So I I don't know what the hell he's watching. Or he must have said that literally a few hours before Thursday Night Football. But, John, when was the last time the Patriots were run first? Well, we still try to run first. We still try to start the game off but, with uh, but, Stevenson. But when Brady was here, Harris. they weren't run first? I mean, no. they were well, in the first no. half of the decade. Well, no, we tried run first, and then if it failed, Brady was good enough to take over a game. Now, we don't <laughs> have a quarterback player in the right sport. now that's good enough that's to take why over were, a game. They were passed first because he was the best player in the sport. The, even though the rules remained the same, he Bill Belichick was all in on passing. I mean, Tom led the league in passing yards several years years when he was here. Yeah, no, no question. But we always had a stable run game. You know that. I yeah, mean, and I hate that, to be the, the nerd in the room. We had is what. But say again, I, I said I hate to be the nerd in the room. Too but, late. <laughs> yeah, true. But passing just <laughs> nine nine thousand times uh, out of out of nine thousand, passing has a better success rate when moving down the football field than running the football does. It just always does. I understand that this run no, first and, thing and, works for a team like the Titans, but it doesn't work for a team like the Bears who just can't win football games. It, it doesn't work for a no, team like and, Atlanta and guys, who can't win football games. Guys, I understand that completely, and I'm not saying that obviously passing is not the way to go. I'm just saying you've got to have a balance because you've got to take the pressure off the quarterback to a certain extent, and Brady could always depend on a good solid run here and there to take mm-hmm. the pressure off of him, and he always had White or Woodhead or Vereen, uh, and now it's Stevenson out of the backfield where they can at White, where they can catch passes and run and that opened up the field tremendously for the deep throws and all of that. But you, they used the pass hmm. in many cases. You know this with Brady. They used the pass like a run. See, I would agree with John to a certain extent. Like, what the Titans do, it can work, but it's only going to take you so far. You then need the quarterback. You can't – it's very difficult to win a Super Bowl with a game manager at quarterback because you're going to need everything to go your way. But you can build a team like the Titans are, are building, but I think even them, especially after this season, they're going to look, they're going to say, in order for us to take the next step and utilize Derrick Henry, Henry before he runs out of gas, we need to get a quarterback so in there. you're saying you cannot win a Super Bowl with a mobile quarterback, with, without a mobile quarterback. No, no, no. Like, not a, we, without an RPO guy. No, no, not an RPO guy, but a quarterback that – has the skill set of a Brady, a Rodgers, a and Mahomes, a Lamar Jackson, like that skill set. When we talked about, when Jalen Ramsey was talking about quarterbacks, I don't think you can just, I don't think you can win a Super Bowl with just a passenger. A Jimmy Garoppolo, Jimmy, a Jimmy Garoppolo you know, a Mac Jones is he where. He got them to a Super Bowl. But I said they lost. A couple years yeah, ago. I mean, he was a slight overthrow away from winning that game, but I understand right. your point. But last season, let's just put a little facts to the conversation with John. These are the top five teams in rushing per game. The Philadelphia Eagles led the NFL last year. They got blown out in the playoffs by the Bucks. The Colts were second, didn't make the playoffs. The Ravens didn't make the playoffs. The Browns were fourth, didn't make the playoffs. The Titans were fifth most rushing. They lost their first playoff game. So this is, it's just, that's an old way of looking at things. Mm -hmm. But the best rushing teams often are not the best overall teams in today's NFL. That's true. Okay, but, but, but the issue, the problem with what Coward is saying is that um, the last time the Patriots won a Super Bowl, Mm -hmm. it was exactly what he was saying doesn't work anymore. (laughs) <laughs> well, it was, it was just that one game, running, though. The game before that, they had to running, put up 40 points the to beat the Chiefs. And, and defense. In it that was, one game, yeah. though. Look at the entirety oh, of the yeah, season. I know, but we're talking about winning a Super Bowl. You can't yeah, you win have a to Super get there. Bowl if you don't put up 38 points <laughs> yeah. against the Chiefs in the AFC Championship <laughs> exactly. game. Yeah, you're not going to – like the, the Jimmy G's – 
the uh, um, Jared Goff, say it, Mac Jones, the Mac Go Jones, ahead, all those it. guys. You could throw them into those, all those guys into that, those categories. Those guys are not gonna be the Ryan Tannehills. Those guys might get you there if you got everything around well, you. Well, they can get you there because we've seen Jimmy. Yeah, G. they can get you there if you got. But you need the number one rush offense in the league. You need one a top five defense and what that Jimmy G had. Mm-hmm. If you don't have those things, though. Those guys are not going to get you there or win a Super Bowl. You need to be, like the one guy will be interested in this year will be Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins, he's never been like the elite quarterback, but he's been good enough to where you're like, okay, can this guy get you to a Super Bowl? So it's going to be interesting to see. But I would think that most people would look at him and say, you know, he's one of the better passes in the league today. you got to have that capability. But I do agree with Coward in the sense that, you, the league is going to the mobile quarterback, the, the guy that has the capability to make him plays with his legs, whether that's breaking containment, broken plays, and getting well, then, outside yeah, the pocket. And then you better be comfortable with a limited amount of years that you're going to have your quarterback then. Because Says they, who? Get, right. They tend to get hurt more, Shime. Come on. Like who? Like, long, like, like who, right. Like who? I mean, Lamar Jackson has gotten hurt Michael, once in his career. How long was Michael Vick in the league? Like fourteen. Years. I mean, he was no, out of the league no, a couple no, years no. because of because he got he was in jail. Okay. Like it, yeah, but Michael Vick was played like 13, 14 years, and he did guys like Steve McNair and Randall Cunningham. No. And, no, 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 no. But, but Mike, like guys were mobile and they lasted a long time. Like Michael Vick's career wasn't ended because of physically his running ability. He just wasn't a. It's, he was similar to Cam Newton, but, right? Then, then use the example of Lamar Jackson. He gets hurt a lot. I, I, he got hurt not, once. Yeah, he doesn't get hurt a lot. Yeah, but he got you hurt gotta, once last you gotta year. You got to hear what Greg's saying. If you no, just I don't look, get it. If you just look at it, if you're a mobile quarterback, the chances of you getting hurt are higher. The percentages oh, yes. of yes, you getting so that's hurt. That's what he's saying. But so if you have all running quarterbacks, all mobile quarterbacks, then you could find yourself in a. The, the chances an issue. may be higher, but the numbers don't back it up. That running quarterbacks get hurt more. Lamar Jackson has been, he hasn't, Jimmy G has been hurt more than Lamar Jackson and Jimmy G don't run. So it, the numbers, what Greg is saying is that if you have a running quarterback, you only got him for five years because he's going to get hurt. That's not true. In the last five NFL drafts, I like actions over words. In the mm-hmm. last five NFL drafts, there has been one running back taken in the top 10 and that's Saquon Barkley. Right. Dating back to 2014, there have been four in the last eight or nine NFL drafts. The, 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 the running back position has been wildly devalued. Across yeah, well, the I mean, we're, we understand that. We're talking about the mobile quarterback, though. No, we're talking about the Patriots needing to be more like the Titans and be run first. That's just not – run first teams right now, that's code for your average. Yeah, and I think the Patriots are run first, and offensively they're average. Yeah, I mean, Tannehill threw for over 300 yards last night. I mean, I, I, He can do that, but that's not what they do. They they are a run first team with Derrick Henry. That's what they do. Yeah, there'll be a game where he could throw over three hundred yards, but it's gonna come down to you being able to have the quarterback that can go. Can can the Tennessee Titans go tit for tat with the Buffalo Bills or the Kansas City Chiefs? Um, probably not. Right. So it, they might get to a certain level, whether it's a divisional game. It might even be the AFC championship game. But it's going to come down to the quarterback. I can guarantee this, that next year the Tennessee Titans have to figure out what they're going to do with their quarterback situation. And I'm willing to bet they are a big player in the Tom Brady sweepstakes. And, Greg, right. I, I think you often – you are right overall that the Patriots would be much better served if they had the, the, the Titans' way of doing things now. That they are – Vrabel has reenacted the early Patriots dynasty better than Belichick. Correct. It is a great point. And Chris Mason, who covers the Patriots, had the stat of the year – Mike Vrabel is 48-27 and 27 as a head coach with these starting quarterbacks, Tannehill, Mariota, Blaine Gabbert, and Malik Willis. <laughs> Vrabel is freaking awesome. That's 21 games over 500 with the definition of mediocre and subpar quarterbacks. Well, if you can get me Derrick Henry, if you can guarantee you're going to get me Derrick Henry, like if Ramondre Stevenson can become Derrick Henry mm-hmm. – then, then you, you run first. Yeah, then you have a conversation. Yes. But Derrick yes. Henry and Saquon Barkley are the two best running backs in the league. You think right. Ramondre could be there, though? I I mean, I, yes. I don't know. I oh. mean, Derrick Henry's rushed for what? Like, it seems like almost 2,000 yards for the past I know, but four. last season for Ramondre was cut short. And then right, this season that. he's been great. So right. let's just. 
After after yesterday, Wiggy, do you think you might have been better off if you were a running back? No, 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 no. Still got to catch passes as a running back. 